Hey, I see mullet right over there. Really good bait. Oh yeah. You got bait. You can use it later and catch some fish. Big one, look at him. Look at his eyeball. Hey kids, it's Trapper Terry and today we're going on a cast netting adventure. Today I'm going to show you how to throw a cast net. Now cast nets are great. If you go out with a cast net and you know how to throw it properly, instead of buying bait in a bait store, you can catch your own bait, which I'll show you later. So first step is take the rope, make sure it's attached to your wrist. Go like this, one, two, three, four, five. Next up, reach down and grab this ring. See this ring right here? because it slides up and down. You shake it, and you reach in the very middle and let the net fall over like that. The next step is put this in your mouth, this little rope, not the little lead pieces. Reach down, about one arm length, and you go one, two, three. Perfect throw. If there was fish there, they'd be in the net. Then you just pull it on in, just like that. And if you notice, look at that. It kind of falls up and that's where all the fish should be trapped in there. So this is about a four foot cast net. This is a good beginner's net for kids. Go out and buy one and catch yourself some bait. I'll tell you what, these mullet, these fish are real smart. They can hear your footsteps in the water. And if I'm walking up on them, they start moving this way, away from me. So I'm gonna try to see if I can sneak up on them and be a little quieter. Hey, I see mullet right over there. Really good bait. mullet. Look at this little guy. He's a cool little bugger. See his little face? He's like rrr, rrr. These guys are good bait. You hook them in the tail, throw them out in the channel, and guess what you could catch? Big old snook. So this is the best part of going out with the cast net. Instead of buying your bait, all you got to do is just go in the water. Let me keep him alive. I'm going to let him go. I'm actually, whoop, there he goes. He's gone. I'm going to demonstrate how cool it is to catch him. And that little guy, I want to let him go. I even have a few needle fish in here. I'm going to take one of them out of the net. And watch this. He's got these little chompers right here. See that? If he gets you on the finger, ow! Just kidding, it doesn't hurt that bad. But kids and parents don't try this at home or in the water. They do bite and they'll scratch you up a little bit. But he's a cute little guy. I'm gonna let him go. Ready? Look at him take off like a rocket. They were heading that way. Oh, I got him, I got him. I got mullets. Look at that. I got one maybe. It's pretty good size though. No, I got two. Look at those buggers. See them? Pretty cool. We got bait. I'm gonna use it later and catch some fish. Put it right up there. They're wiggly little guys. All right, we gotta release them. Hold on. Ooh, look, he's a big one. Look at him. Look at his eyeball. Look at that bugger. Woo! We got bait. Hook him in the tail, catch a big snook. All right, little guy, see you later. Go! <laughs> That's the best part right there, when he takes off. Wow, that was a great adventure. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And if you'd like to support Dive and Adventures, please visit our GoFundMe page below. Everyone who donates will have their name on their own Hollywood star in the final credits. See you on the next adventure.